Hey guys, PK Sports the Hotness here, and welcome back to some more Mario Kart Wii Custom Track Grand Prix. So, today I have a weird bit of news to report. As you guys can see, my character roster is gone. I'm not sure what happened, but I woke up and I said, I'm going to record Mario Kart Wii Custom Track Grand Prix. And I went on and I lost all of my data. God. So now I got to spend time unlocking everything again, which means I have to play through the dreaded... Mario, I mean, I'm sorry, the 50cc and 100cc cups, which is really going to suck. But luckily, the course is all, all still here. And also, luckily, the the character and cart combination that was picked, I don't know why it was marked as spam, but it had 40 thumbs up. Um, Toad and the Mini Beast. We're going to be playing through the Propeller Mushroom Cup right here. So let's get it started. I actually love this combination. When I first started playing Mario Kart Wii, this was my go-to combination until I unlocked uh, my favorite combination. Then that was my favorite combination. But um, this is a close second. It's a really good combination. The cart is not bad. Um, we will be playing a 150cc, so there's no need to worry about that. And actually, I remember this course. It was actually not a fun because the GBA version of Mario's Super Circuit um, was, what do you call it? Yeah. Alright, sorry about that. I had a little bit of a distraction. It actually caused me to burn out. Uh oh, who am I kidding? I burned out on my own accord. But luckily, we still are playing a 1 to 50 CC. So let's see how, how fast we can go on this cup. Uh, we can do a trick right there. Although that jump was really short. Ugh. Let's just use this gold bill right, right now. Why not? See if we, how many people we can bulldoze over. Alright, we got three. Let's take the shortcut. See what happens. Jump over there. Woo! Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to die. Yeah. Okay, so from now on, when I make that cut, make it diagonal. I'm gonna need an item box. That's not, that's not an item box here. That's not an item box. Crap. Alright, it's fine. Baby Peach is all the way up front, as well as Waluigi. In fact, I don't think we've ever had Waluigi in the top spot before. That's unique. Ooh. I wonder why it happened with Toad, though. I don't know. But anyway, um, Mario Kart Super Circuit, it was a good game. It was really heavily based around boosts and jumps through a lot of shortcuts and whatnot. It was okay. It wasn't the best, honestly though, I think it's better than Mario Kart DS. I hate that game. But um by the way, if you guys are wondering why I hate it, I hate it because snaking just made the game so broken. Come on, police! Alright, sorry about that. Obviously I was going too fast and police had to stop me. But you know, I was playing Need for Speed lately and basically my my top evasion skills have been top notch lately. But anyway, like I digress. I mean like I was saying, um I like I hate Mario Kart DS because Snake just broke the game and it really just made it boring to me. It made it boring. I, I didn't find interest in it at that point. Uh I mean I knew how to do it, but I just felt as though snaking ruined the concept of Mario Kart. Because there were a lot of straightaway courses and because the way how the controls were, the handling and whatnot, any cart actually my uh, favorite cart was the egg one um, yeah, any cart like that with low accept with high acceleration, low speed, or high boost, they those were the premier carts you wanted to use because it just allowed snaking to work so much better. So that's one thing I was happy to see with Mario Kart Wii is that they actually broke um, snaking in this game with the way the carts were. Now, granted, they broke Mario Kart in general when they added, you know, bikes and wheels. But I digress. That's the story for another time. Gotcha. Alright, yeah, I was had a feeling my jinx was gone. Get out of my way. I should probably should have hit it. Get out of my way. Ah. Darn it, I wanted one of them. I'm actually still shocked to see Waluigi in top spot. Uh, we are playing on 150cc, right? I feel like we're going slower. Maybe it's just a bike. I don't know, but I'm a bike. Not bike, but vehicle. But yeah, I feel like we're going slower than 150cc. I feel like one I could 150cc. I don't know. But well, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Right, that's actually one thing I'm, ha I'm glad that Mario Kart 8 is going to take out. They brought the bikes back, but from what I understand, the people who've been able to demo the game, they took William out. So, there's no more William. And um, they just gave bikes a, you know, a red drift. Like, you know, a two-level boost or whatever. It was really freaking sweet, if you ask me. I think that was a great move on their part, so yay! So we have bikes, we have carts, we have gliding. It's pretty much Mario Kart Wii. And Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 7 fused together. Except, no willing. It's pretty decent if you ask me. But anyway, GBA um, Sky Garden has been completed on which in the next course. As soon as we can get through this. Alrighty! Cloud Carpet. Well, 
let's play. I mean, I, I don't, I mean, I like the fogginess. That looks cool. I'm actually kind of intrigued by this course, just by the atmosphere of it. They actually, look, I mean, there's even fog right here in front of us. So this should be pretty decent. I'm actually, seriously, I burnt that again? I'm actually starting to expect that this is a course based off of F-Zero, just because of this little boost thing right here. And that's what I'm imagining this course is um, inspired by. So if you guys know, feel free to leave a comment below. And, um, you know, I never I can know, but I'm having a feeling that it's inspired from an N64 um, F-Zero game. Come here, yeah, Waluigi. Come here, Waluigi. There we go. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. It's, it's the only suggestion. I mean, just look at it. It's a beautiful course, but all the boost everywhere is just just screaming at zero, you know? Got one more boost. I'm actually going to try to save it for a straight away or something. I mean, because there's boost everywhere, so using the boost, in, uh, you know, just willy-nilly isn't really advantageous. Now I'm going to use it right here. Do, 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 yeah, dude, this has to be an F-Zero course. It has to be. Gonna so drop that right there, get another boost. Oh, another yeah, boost. Get a quick boost right there, alright. Man, these boost pads are everywhere. You've got boost power. I love F-Zero games. Like, I was so hoping that Nintendo would take heed that people want a new F-Zero game, or a Star Fox game, or a Metroid game, and announce one for the Wii U. Now, granted, we got Smash. We got Mario Kart 7. I'm not sitting here trying to say that they didn't do anything right. But at the same time, I still would have rather enjoyed, in fact, I would have loved if um, they could have pulled out a Metroid game, a Star Fox game. I still think that right now, the Star Fox Assault is the direction they should go in with the um, Star Fox series. It can essentially be the Halo for, Star for Nintendo. And this is one thing I want to say. Nintendo has enough IPs to where they can have a game to match up with any other IPs that any other company has. I don't understand why they aren't using it. Um, okay, co um, to correct what I said, so a Metroid could be Halo. Star Fox could be Gears of War. F-Zero could be Need for Speed or any other future. It, it's a fast racing, it's a great game. Um, what else? Um, I'm trying to think of what else they can they have. F uh, Zelda is just Zelda. I mean, they cornered the action, action adventure department. No, but I mean, it, every other company aspires to be them. But Nintendo just let their other IPs fall to the wayside, and now it's just, you know, I don't know, they're just sitting there. It's really disappointing because I really want more entries into those series. I love Metroid, I love Star Fox, I love F-Zero. And I play the GameCube versions often, really often. I have the trilogy for the Wii U. I have the, um, I have Star Fox Assault. Shoot, I even did a Let's Play on that game, which I kind of want to redo now that I have a higher recording equipment. I could probably do a better, um, LP of that, visually-wise. Um, but, yeah, that's just my rant. Onward to the next course. Volcanic Skyway. Well, you know what? It looks decent. It actually reminds me of a course in either Super Mario, Super Mario Galaxy or Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'm not sure which one. I think it might be Galaxy. Cause I know there's like a point where you get launched out of the volcano and then it explodes and there's a whole bunch of star bits. So I think that might have been Galaxy 1. Cause I know they did that a lot in Galaxy 1. They did that to show off the Wii's um, graphics and whatnot. Might have said, we did a great job on it. Speaking of um, Super Mario Galaxy though, who else is disappointed in Super Mario 3D World? I mean, okay, let me say this. I'm excited that we're getting a new game. The game looks cool. And shoot, we actually get to see Fire Peach. Uh, well. Peach in a fire suit and a tanuki suit and all that stuff. That's gonna be decent. I can't wait to see that. In fact, I've already seen images of it, but I can't wait to play with it. So, you know, that's gonna be fun. And, um, I'm not paying attention. Like, there's too much clouds and whatnot. I'm kind of going off right now. But yeah, so, but I was hoping when they said we're working on a new 3D Mario game, they were working on a 3D Mario game, something to follow up Galaxy, to follow in the line of Super Mario 64 or Super Mario Sunshine. But they didn't. And so many people wanted Super Mario Galaxy 3. And I'm just like, no, why would you want that? It would just be the same old engine. It would be. I don't want to see why everybody wants Super Mario Galaxy 3. I want a new Mario game. And um, I'm imagining that they're going to try and make one more. Oh, boss. Okay. Whoa, guy. Oh, guy. Jeez. That was mean. That's, that was just a game trolling because I said I want more 3D Mario games. Um, get out of my way. 
But yeah, I, I can't imagine. I don't know why they're doing it like, like this. It's really annoying and irritating. Like I said, I think the game is good. It's just not what I want. You know what I mean? That, that's the only thing I'm disappointed by. We all wanted a 3D Mario game, but we said we got a 3D Mario game that actually doesn't play in 3D. Super Mario 3D Land only got the 3D from the 3D aspect of the game. And there were things... Really? And I saw that they tried to incorporate some 3D aspects into the game, but um, it, it just it doesn't do it. It just doesn't do it. Oh, that train sounded angry. I'm ranting on Mario, and now everything just seems angry. The game screwed me up, and then the train just went, which is really weird, because I, I honestly never heard that sound before. But, um, <laughs> yes, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm happy for the game. It's just not what I want. <sighs> so, with that rant over, I'll probably do another EP rant on the next course, but right now I want to talk about this course. Move, baby Mario. How did he not trip on the- Oh god, I forgot about this. You gotta hold that drift. Okay. Oh my god, another police. This is what- I'm not recording in the day from now on. I am not recording in the daytime from now on. That's- that's final. I'm sitting here trying to be productive and get some recording done. But no. The world just wants to make noise. But anyway. Uh, I actually like this course. I'm playing it and I, even though I haven't been talking about it, I am paying attention. And I think it does what the last course did. Uh, it keeps you on your toes and my only, okay, my only problem is that there are too many straightaways. And that sucks. Oh, well, I'm just keep going because I get this, get this boost and, you know, get there faster. But yeah, I think there's just too many straightaways, but I like this part right here where you're like riding on the clouds. It kind of reminds me of Rainbow Road from Mario Kart 7. Uh, in that aspect. Get out of my way. I'm gonna use a car. I'm using a car or something. Let's get here. Alright, let's get this ramp going. And perfect thrust. Woohoo! Look at that totness. Oh, uh, look at that totness. I think that's the thing. Got the beast. Alright. So, yeah, I think this course is great. They used the Donkey Kong 64 Jungle Parkway. Uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Parkway. You guys know what I'm talking about. They use that music. Yeah, baby Mario catching up. So, I better hold this drift. I remember I'm gonna hold this drift this time. Woo! And pelvic thrust. We got this. Bye bye. First place is mine. This is a good course. I like this course. I have no problem with this course. Although I hope that in Mario Kart 8, they bring back the mini beasts. They bring back a few Mario Kart Wii carts as well because they were kind of fun. But anyway, on to the finals course. We're counting Skyway number three. Well, Ken Skyway number three. Now, I don't remember playing the first one, but I probably did in the previous cup. Uh, if they make a fourth one, they can make a Ken Skyway cup. That'd be cool. I wonder if it's made by the same person. Like they're kind of just using the theme, and um, you know whatnot. Just kind of just running with it. Please don't tell me if it, if it died, didn't it? Yep. Okay. So after numerous attempts. For some reason, the file just does not want to load. Today is a very bad day for me to attempt to record. Um, so I cannot play the last chorus, and I'm not sure why. What can I say? Obviously, today is just a bad day for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Grand Prix up to this point. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed, and please stay tuned for some more more to blah. And please make sure you make. God darn it! And please make sure you stay tuned for some more Mario Kart Week coming track Grand Prix, new Super Luigi U, the wonderful 101 upcoming, and more. Until next time, guys, this is PK Sparks the Hotness, reluctantly signing out.